Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we were trying to get to the Colosseum, but our health isn't exactly fantastic, is it? Now, what I do want to do, actually, is come this way, and we should, if we're lucky, and I am going the right way, which, uh, by the look of things, I'm not. We're going to go here, grab the Night Shield, and somewhere here in one of these rooms. Actually, where does this go? We need to get ourselves save area. Oh, right. Okay. That just links back up. Of course it does. Cool. All right. So that's another channel. Full circle opened. Fantastic. Now, considering our very fragile state, what is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the gun. Um, not too sure on the gun, to be honest. I think it's actually all right. Whoa, that's fine. That, ooh, nope, that is the bad room. <laughs> we go into that room. We're going to have a bad time. That is a hell of a fight, but I think there's some good items back there. Anyway, let's drop a save, shall we? Much better, because this fight that we have coming up is actually quite spicy. If I'm honest, we can't go that way, but that's fine. Okay, so where are we? I think we want to be on... No, we want to be on the next level above. And what we're going to do in the next video, I think, it will probably be a montage. Oof. God damn it. Of us um, just going around the castle, picking up some items, because we're almost at the stage now where we can grab loads of stuff, loads of goodies. Now, we are going to want to have to pick up the clock item soon as well. But in here, this is spicy. Now, the library card's an interesting item. It means if we can use it, um, or if we use it, I say, it's going to take us straight back to the library, which is kind of useful. All right. Hold on to your butts, because this is rough. Uh, who are you? Open Hell's Gate. Come forth, my servants. Oh, my. Your blood. You're a Belmont. He is. Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. What's Richter doing there? First thing we're going to do is take that guy out. Now the oh Jesus, these guys aren't super tough in the health department, but they do incredible amounts of damage, kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, they're rough. So let's try that one again. It actually took me quite a few fights to get through this, but at least we get that wonderful music again. Am I right? Yeah, we want to go here. We're only on 36.4%, but that is going to dramatically increase. What I might do to save us both some time, save us both, <laughs> probably accurate actually, um, I might drop a save state in this battle because this, like I say, it's tricky. It's not, it's not that hard. It's just very, very finicky and tricky. All right. Uh, who are you? Right, let's drop a save Crush here. This flea, who flea? How dare you? Now that guy, this guy here sucks. Oof, taking some horrible damage. Oh, he's gone. There we go. Sweet. Now that's going to piss off the Minotaur. Ooh, we are really low on health. So, you know what we're going to do? We're gonna. We're just gonna equip some food. Let's equip the pot roast. I'm gonna eat both of them, and it looks like we're about to get smashed. But that's fine. Come on, jump! Oof. And of course, we landed on his bloody spear because, of course, we did. Oh, you son of a! Oh. Two health left. 
son of a bitch. Got him. <laughs> Got him on two health. Ah. Uh, I'm certain that was a Belmont. So yeah. he says he's the lord of this castle. He does. Now that's going to give us some health anyway. Oof. Actually fills us right up too, which is nice. Cool. Let's keep going, shall we? Now this is going to... Oof. What about that? God damn it. <laughs> We're off to a great start. This gives us the form of mist, which is very contextual, really. It's not useful for much, uh, but the things that it is useful for, we're going to be using a lot. For instance, it's going to get us the next power. And the next power is probably one of my favorite abilities in the game. So we actually now want to go all the way back to the library. Now we could use the library card, but if we do that, we're going to be missing out on a decent chunk of XP. So we're going to take the long way back. And we also want to try and get a clock. There we go. Perfect. Now you, you suck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to kick my ass. Come on. This guy is worth a small fortune in XP. But I do not like fighting him at all. Right, one gone. You know what? We're just going to get killed, I think, by this guy. Ah, oh, son of a... You know what? He's going to kill us. He's actually going to kill us. That's kind of embarrassing, actually, if I'm honest. Yep. Bastard. Crush this flea who invades my And in typical Let's Players fuck curse. <laughs> Whilst the game was paused, I just certain that was a completely body bagged so both of those guys without getting hit. Oh, I might have got hit once actually. No, I don't think I did. Yeah, maybe I got hit once. Son of a bitch. I just destroyed those guys in literally seconds. Ah, still, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. Especially when the Let's Player's curse is in full effect. Now, we will get a interesting ability later, which will augment the missed ability. And it's, it can be useful, just because whilst you're in mist form, you're actually invincible. Um, unfortunately, the way it works now is we can only turn into mist for literally a fraction of a second. But later on, we'll get an upgrade that will allow us to turn into mist at will for as long as we like, as long as we've got the mana for it. Anyway, let's get the clock ability. There we go. That's what we should have done. And we got broadsword for that. What's the broadsword like? I'm actually not sure. Okay, so it's doing the same amount of damage as a jeweled knuckle, so we won't worry about it. Get some coins. Back through the marble gal uh, gallery. It should be the marble gallery anyway. Man, it just absolutely opened him like a can of beans. Oof, that guy kind of sucks. But we'll just fist him in the ass until he dies. Now he'll throw a weapon as he dies, which is really naughty. Especially if you don't uh, don't know about that. Kind of savage. Now, actually, can no, we can't. I was going to say we can go up there, but we can't because we don't have the correct ability. What I, where I want to go is actually back this way. We want to go to the clock tower. I think it's called the clock tower anyway, or at least the clock room. Yep, you suck, sir. My god, he is literally kicking our ass. Yeah, he sucks. 
but then it probably has quite a lot to do with my lack of skill as well. Never underestimate one's own lack of skill. Please don't, please, please don't start turning into a wolf every five seconds. We don't need it. Come on, there we go. It's all XP in the bag. And we need the XP. Okay, so if we go down this way, pretty sure this will take us to the clock tower. Unless I've gone in completely the wrong direction again. Which, to be fair, won't be the first time that I've done such things. Alright. Eh, this should be it. Unless the clock tower was further back, which, uh, I mean, it could be. Nope, this looks good. It's actually exactly where we want to be. Ugh, come on, Alucard. Don't be like that. There we go. And this will actually get us the Alucard shield. Not Alucard, Alucard shield. A life up, Alucard mail, and Alucard sword. Now, they're actually pretty useless. They're only cheap copies of the uh, original. So they're not that useful for us. Damn fleas. There's also a trick we can do with the Master Librarian, but not quite yet. We need to come back once we have the jumping boots. Ooh, morning set, very nice. Always nice to pick up some uh, healing items. Okay. It's a long way back to the library, sadly. And unfortunately, we've got to fight a lot of weak enemies along the way. But that's cool. Nothing uh, Alucard can't handle. A few skeletons. Your fist a skeleton, you ain't gonna have a lot left, that's for sure. Not that I recommend fisting a skeleton, because to be honest, not really a lot there to fist. If you catch my drift. Uh, nope, we wanna go back this way. Actually, technically, we can go this way. Ooh, let's see that rib incoming. Kinda hard to see them sometimes through the uh, scenery. It's fine. Now, if we grab this, there's actually a blue door through here which we can now open. In fact, we've been able to open it for a while. And that opens up another way down below us, but we're not going to be going through that way just yet. Because we need to get that form. And boy, does the game open up once we get that. We'll be able to grab up so many of the random items. And that's going to put our completion rank way up. Now, unfortunately, that's the uh, staircase down below that we've opened. We're going to make a mental note of that, but we're not going to worry about it now. There's some uh, good stuff in the library, including our first familiar. Uh, but our first familiar is a weird one. She kind of starts off really bloody useless, but she's more... And I have a cat. She's more... Come on, Milo. Come on, buddy. Off, off my desk. She's more useful than you think. At least more useful than I thought, anyway. Now, familiars in this game are kind of interesting because they actually level up. They start off at levels... Uh, one it might be level zero actually i forget um and they actually level up with the amount of enemies you kill and they get xp but they actually get more xp if they kill the enemies themselves but i don't believe our first familiar actually has an attack i think she's more of a, a healer but at level zero or one they are incredibly useless but eventually she does start getting pretty good. Now, to level up your familiars, because they cap out, same as Alucard, cap out at level 100, 
That's a very tall order. I believe they always require 100 XP to level. So, um, we'll grab the gun as well, because why not? Um, oh, I feel so useless without having the bat ability, because that thing really cuts down on the amount of nonsense that you have to do. Okay. I mean, the amount of shortcuts you can take with the bat ability is, is kind of staggering. Let's go get our health back before we worry about too much else. Much better. It'd be cool if this actually refilled our hearts as well, but that would probably, in all fairness, be slightly overpowered. Not gonna lie. Okay. Now this is where we fought Doppelganger 10 rest his bones as we sent the bastard back to oblivion. Okay. Now it's getting to the point where if we ever need to come back to see the librarian, we are just going to teleport back. I'm only doing this because uh, we kind of need to get as many levels as we can. Now, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of grinding off camera. I don't know how much I'm going to do, but I'm going to do a little bit. Because we are level 18, and that's kind of shitty. When I was playing this um, on my Xbox, I actually did quite the significant amount of grinding, thinking about it. And I think, actually, we want to go upstairs the other way. Because there's one specific little area. We also have to fight a boss, I believe, if my memory serves me. Ooh. Nope, nope. There we go. These ectoplasms suck. Testicles. And that was as close as it gets. So our next boss is actually the lesser demon. Ah, oh, son of a... Yeah, look how long curse lasts. And as I said, with Curse, all it does is you can't use your main melee. And man, it lasts ages. But it kind of feels like a waste to go all the way into your inventory. Just to uh, use an uncurse. Because obviously you can instantly get cursed again. Which isn't what we want, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you. Definitely one of the more irritating afflictions in this game. Now we can buy and easily farm uncurses, but eventually we won't have to worry about using um, potions and things manually. We're going to have a little friend to do that for us. Friend that I've already mentioned. It would be nice to see this game remade, redo the art keep it kind of the same sort of vibe but just tidy it up add some more resolution to it obviously with any remake I think the option to have the original graphics should remain as well now they don't need to do a huge amount with this game they absolutely should just keep it more or less as is just up the resolution not even by a huge amount to be honest Okay, we need to go up here. I can't believe we're already on like 19 minutes. And actually, that's kind of perfectly aligning to where we need to be. Um, yeah, because we've got to go all the way down there, take out the boss. But in the interest of my internet not having 300 hour upload times, I am going to have to leave it there, guys. So when we come back, lesser demon, we're going to get the power of the bat and things are going to change for us. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.